The conference brought together social activists from across the Arab world, as well as a number of Arab Americans living in the United States. The focus was on using information technology and social media, like Facebook and Twitter, for such projects as improving education or health care, helping people find jobs, or providing playgrounds for children. We are focusing a lot on development in the region, and there are a lot of initiatives. We have initiatives in which people are building entrepreneurship, new businesses, and they are, coming, they are getting funding from all over the world in addition to getting support and having people engage. One topic we talked about today was volunteerism. How do you bring social development to the world or to your region and to your country? by engaging in volunteerism? How do you engage others? Um, how do you use technology, for example, and leverage technology to be able to grow your business and grow your network? Let people know about what you're bringing to your country. Ahmad Alashkar, a Palestinian-American, founded a group that promotes so-called social entrepreneurism, businesses that make money while providing a social service like banking or health care for the poor. The whole prize catalyzes and mobilizes college students from around the world who have an opportunity and a platform to create a business that helps the poor, helps society, but also makes profits. And in partnership with President Clinton and the Clinton Global Initiative, we have an annual initiative where we give a million dollars in startup capital to a winning startup that's generated by business-minded students worldwide. He says a good example is based in Saudi Arabia. Glowwork does two things. They educate women on how to get those jobs, and then they match make. They essentially are a headhunting firm, which goes about finding the right women for the right jobs. And they, the, the pitch is very interesting. The pitch is not let women have equal rights, etc. cetera, while that's also included, but it's women will add value to your bottom line. Muna Abu Suleiman is a former head of the Al-Walid bin Talal Foundation and a Saudi TV personality. She says projects meant to help the poor and provide other social benefits are becoming more professional. There's um, a growing trend towards transparency and accountability, but it's not where it should be yet. But at least there's this kind of awareness um, that we're part of a global world and we need to be very open about what we do and how we do it and how, where we spend our money. The summit on social good in the Middle East was supported by the United Nations, the United States, and several non-profit groups. This first ever summit of its kind has brought together three potent forces. Social media like Facebook and Twitter, members of the Arab diaspora living around the world, and new initiatives for social businesses and philanthropy. Activists say that together these forces can do much to improve the lives of people in the Middle East. Burton Bolag, KSA2, Washington.